Hi, I'm Dr. Sharon Schutz, and I'm sitting here with Don Hamilton, the superintendent of the Groveton School District. And we appreciate you coming and sitting down with us today and discussing the school and all the wonderful things that are going to be happening this year. Uh, lots going on in Trinity and uh, lots going on over here. Yes, ma'am. So tell me, uh, you just you just built a new cafeteria. Tell me about it. Yes, ma'am. We built um, a new cafeteria that will house or will feed the elementary and junior senior high students. It has about a 400 seating capacity. It's wonderful. Um, it's cost about two and a half million dollars. Uh, the um, we were very fortunate. The city of Groveton sold us the street, uh, McGee Street, uh, or stretch of McGee Street between the two schools, which allowed us to build uh, the cafeteria. And we're very so proud of it. So you built it on where the street was? You built it on the street? Part of it is um, on the street itself, yes. And it goes from the elementary school, it's attached to the elementary school, and it goes across and covers most of the street uh, between the high school. Wonderful. Uh, uh, I know you're going to take us in a few minutes to take a look and do some video of it, and we'll put that and add that into this video. But uh, I know la uh, that you guys have, two, for two years in a row, uh, received the bronze, uh, was a bronze level award. Yes, ma'am. Uh, tell me about that. I put it in Trinity County News website a few weeks ago. Right. But tell me about uh, it. For two years in a row, uh, Groveton Junior Senior High has been the bronze awarded school uh, from the U.S. News and World Report. Mm -hmm. They rate the schools and it is, you know, they rate them gold, silver, bronze, or you do not make a rating. Mm -hmm. And if you make the rating, uh, of any of the three categories, you're considered one of the top schools in the state as well as in the United States. Right. And we're very proud of that because, like I said, two, the past two years, we have been a bronze rated school. And this is national also? Yes, this is national wonderful. also. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, that's, uh, that's very impressive. And I, I know that uh, Apple Springs also did, did well this year. This year, yes, uh, they and did. Trinity uh, has just received its accreditation the state F A through F accountability rating. Yes. yes, they just received that. So our schools are doing very well. Yes, they are. Uh, we received ours last year also, mm -hmm. I mean last week also uh -huh. for last year and we uh, received a B mm -hmm. overall for the district, which That's we were good. very pleased with that. Uh, mm -hmm. There are very few A's uh, throughout mm -hmm. the state. So that tells me that we're doing uh, I like that they job. just changed that to an A through F rating system this year. Am I understanding that correctly? Yes, it was. Actually, they came out last year with a uh -huh. pilot, uh, you know, the initial pilot program, uh -huh. in, uh, but they've released them yeah. for this year. This yeah. is something people can relate to. I because mean, we've all, I mean, it was a long time ago when I was in school, but I'd liked A's and B's a lot better than I liked the other stuff. Well, so it's similar. It, it is similar, but um, I don't really agree with the way that the state does oh, really? the accountability system ah. because they they put too much emphasis on just a state mandated test and I things. completely agree with and that. That there are too many variables mm -hmm. that can go into play. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, a lot of kids do not have good test taking skills. Right. They, a lot of them get nervous. Um, like you said, you're taking one day one shot look at right. at, at students. They could be having a bad day. Mm -hmm. They could be sick, feeling bad. There's any number of right. things. And that really doesn't reflect mm -hmm. all the things that a school district is doing. Right. So uh, anyway, I'm very, very uh, impressed with what you guys are doing over here. You guys have a, an awesome school. I know last year your beta club went to nationals. Is yes, that right? Yes, ma'am. And. Uh, you are had, doing uh, great. I believe 16 students that advanced mm -hmm. to the National Beta Club Convention. Uh, we had two students that placed fourth in their category, you know, overall uh, of the students in the nation. That's and wonderful. That's uh, great. Uh, yeah. We we have a lot of success in other areas mm -hmm. other than just uh, the standardized testing. Right. Uh, we try to make sure that our students are well-rounded, well-educated, have opportunities to do right. um, 
You even have a thing. world champion here. Yes, ma'am. We have a world I'll tell champion. You, we're proud of him. Cutting. We sure are. We're very proud of him. Mm -hmm. World champion in cutting uh, mm -hmm. in the uh, Texas High School or yeah, High School Rodeo that's Association. Awesome. Um, we had last year two students of our FCCLA, which used to be called homemaking, but uh, mm -hmm. it uh, that advanced to nationals. Uh, both of them were gold medal winners in their categories. Wow. Uh, one of them uh, was number one in the mm -hmm. nation in her category. Year before last, uh, in, a, in a different contest at nationals, uh -huh. FCCLA, she was first also. Yeah. So two years in a row, she has been a national winner in that. Yeah. And then uh, another student placed at a gold medal in mm -hmm. placed, uh, I believe it was third in the nation, but That's was a wonderful. gold medalist. That is awesome. We're proud of our kids. That's and good. all the countywide, we have some of the greatest kids in this county and smart, smart, productive, uh, you know, outstanding kids. Yes, we do. Uh, and it, Trinity County is a great place. Mm -hmm. uh, we have great kids. We have great support from the community, mm -hmm. from the families here. And that's what makes, uh, makes our school district so right. good. Oh, absolutely. Uh, because we have the support of people and we try mm -hmm. to put uh, the kids and give them every opportunity that we can. Uh, How many kids do you have in the school? We have about 730 kids. That's enrolled. total? total right now in pre-k yeah. through 12th grade okay. um, that we had enrolled this year. Yeah, that's a lot of kids to feed. <laughs> it's a lot of kids to feed, it sure is. Uh, okay, would you like to go on and, and let's go uh, to the cafeteria and uh, take a look and we'll put it on, on video and, sure. and uh, so everybody can see what you guys are sure. doing. Sure, would love okay. to do that. All right. So tell us now how you paid for this. This was paid for out of fund balance. We've been putting money back for the past uh, few years, mm -hmm. and uh, so we did not have to go to the voters and ask to pass a bond issue. Uh, it's totally paid for. That's a, wonderful. A completion. Uh, it's about two and a half million dollars for this project. That's quite an accomplishment. Yeah, it, it is. It really is. Yeah. And it, how many does it seat? It has a about a 400 seating capacity right now. 400. We can. Uh, we do have room to add a few more. Uh -huh. tables and things where we can do 420, 430. But Did you uh, add kitchen area, new kitchen area? It's, or? it's totally new. This is whole, totally One. new. Two serving lines so we can get the kids through. Oh, you even have, serve them. Bar, uh, we have, have restaurant style booths booth shot over here. there. That's yes. wonderful. Yes. That is amazing. <clears throat> now, why wasn't high school like this when I was in school? I know. It would have been nice. Well, you've done an amazing job here. Well, thank you. This thank is you. awesome. It's, uh, it's beautiful. It's we, beautiful. We went and looked at a lot of uh, different cafeterias. Mm -hmm. the, the food service director and myself, we looked at quite a few cafeterias. Right. And we picked out the one that we thought would best serve our needs. Right. Um, and yeah. then designed it this after is, that. This is so nice. Have, uh, and this is your first year to use it? This is the first year. We just started using it um, ah, this school year. Wonderful. How the kids like it? They love it. I mean, uh, they, it's full. All the kids are coming. We're, we're yeah. serving more than yeah. uh, than we have. Yeah. That's wonderful. Well, a, well, you guys have done an amazing job. And uh, you got you got all this in here? I want to make sure all that gets in there. That is, this is awesome. It's connected to the elementary, so the elementary students do not have to go outside. They can go straight in from the elementary building into the cafeteria. That's wonderful. And um, the way they don't have to get out in the weather mm -hmm. or anything. Uh, so the bathrooms, all, this, all of this is new? All of this is new. From those doors there back here is all new. That's, uh, where it's that's connected. awesome. Uh, I'm just amazed that it's paid for and that, that the, yes, you know, the taxes didn't have to be increased. Or uh, but with, this is something that we've needed for a long time. Mm -hmm. And yeah. well, uh, finally wonderful. we're able to do it, like I said, with the, with the help of the Groveton uh, City, the mayor and the city mm -hmm. council, and all of us working together, right. we were able to accomplish yeah. Well, that's the key, project. is working together, yes, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. That's the key. If everyone can work together, then we can accomplish a yeah. lot. Well, thank you. Thank you.